currently, or I finished getting uh, gas for the 240. My buddies wanted a little less than half um, for the swap. So, went to Shell, put some V-Power 93 in there, and uh, about to go to um, my buddy Brian's, back to my buddy Brian's house, and we're about to start on this swap. So, I'll take it with me on my way there, do the last few rips on the KA. I'm gonna miss it. Uh, it's a little torquey, but it's gonna be fun. So yeah, a couple rips. <laughs> guys i'm at brian's uh brian's to the left and then dylan's right here with the baby face cute so cute um anyways uh, about to showcase that the k starts and runs great um and then uh we're just gonna get started yeah you do back in the 240 oh yeah here we go last start oh, of the ka forever A lot of noises, but uh, yeah, it runs great. So. Real quick. Alright, we're in the garage, so I don't want to rub it. But yeah, alright, you good. Alright, so we're gonna start with taking off the intake, and then we're gonna take off the battery. We're gonna undo all the fittings and connectors and everything that's connected the car to the motor, and then we're gonna drain the oil and then the coolant. How many are there? Yeah, I don't know. They're all around. So one, two there, three, four, five, six right here. Hopefully there aren't any on the top. There probably is a couple. Okay. The, we got the starter up top. So there's two there and there's probably a couple more up top. And then this is the header side. So just the heads up there. But yeah, uh, the uh, slave center right there. Looks like it's in good shape, so it's good. Yeah, it looks brand new. And it's got a, a stainless steel line, too, didn't it? Nice. That's, that's dope. Okay, cool. But yeah, we're going to do that, and then uh, we're probably going to just... We're just preparing to pull the motor tomorrow. It's getting pretty dark. All right, next up, we're going to unbolt the header. We're going to take out the O2 sensor first. Um, shout out to my first couple videos, but... Dude, your O2 sensor's coming out so easy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's unheard of. On a KA, yeah. Supposedly this KA has 140k miles, so we'll see. I'll pull to the header, out comes the header. If we can wiggle it through, looks like it's stuck on the steel rack. Right? Alright, now we are unplugging the main wire harness plugs to the block. Got these, we got the TPMS ones, just random ones throughout. And then we're gonna take off the uh, clips for the injectors, and then we're gonna pull the wire harness through the firewall. Although, just finding tidbits of anything that might be attached to the pouring room and to the car, so that's about it. Hey, what's up, guys? We are on the next day, which is Saturday. Um, we finally took the, uh, about the RB. I'll do a close up in a minute. We got disconnects. The uh, alternator, fuel lines. Fuel line, alternator. Fuel we got line, starter. Starter. Um, that's really it. Oh, yeah, the AC compressor. Y'all ready to inhale some gas fumes? So 
to get last night. Right. We took the bolts off. There's a couple more we gotta get. That, that. And he's taking off the connectors for like the what, the five speed reverse sensors and shit. Yeah, reverse sensor, your uh, odometer, or your uh, speedometer. speedometer and all that. And then after that, we're just gonna start unbolting the uh, the rest of the uh, bolts for the trains. <laughs> So we had to pull the motor first a little bit to uh, free up the trans because the shifter was getting caught in the shifter tunnel. So that tells us that we do not have any wiggle room when we get this uh, trans <laughs> in. Wow, that was sketchy. <laughs> All right, cool. So uh, we got that. Um, but yeah, uh, motor mounts are undone and motor is pretty much out. We got the transmission out. Um, so yeah, pretty good. Okay, out. Finally. Good. Then starting on the maintenance on the RV20. While it's out, fix a couple things on it that the importer's effed up. We're currently degreasing the bay and the cross member. And we're going to power wash in here just to clean it up before we try and put the mounts on and the RV back in. Mm -hmm. 